Hey guys. <laughs> There's another one. So, <laughs> it's okay. So this is the extraordinary life. I'm and Kelsey. We're gonna keep that little intro bit in there just to show you how real we are. <laughs> oh uh, I'm Michael. She's and Kelsey. And so this is our sweet little girl. Yeah, she's passed out because I talked to her to sleep. Because that's <laughs> what I do. So, um, we just wanted to give you guys the update on what's going on in our little world. In our hospital, our hotel, as yes. we like to call it. Yes. Um, there's a couple things that are really exciting that we're just, yeah, so thankful um, that we get to share with you guys. The first thing is that since... Tuesday afternoon, Sophia has been um, not using what is called the EVD, which is a drainage system. No, no, system. She, she is using the EVD. She's not using a shunt. Oh, wait. She's not using the EVD. He's confusing I'm you. confused. Listen to me. Yes. <laughs> she is clamped. She is clamped on her EVD there because they're testing to see if she can control her intracranial pressure. Or ICP. Um, yeah. Um, and so she's been doing great with that. We're continuing to pray that she doesn't need a shunt because mm -hmm. that would be amazing. Yes. And it would mean that there's no upcoming surgery that we currently expect. Right. Um, which would be amazing. If she does, however, need a shunt, it'll probably be early next week and it'll be a shunt that goes from her brain to her stomach. Mm -hmm. um, the second thing that we wanted to share, our last video we talked about the clot that was... Um, in her heart? Yeah, her heart? so it, it's it's in her heart uh, on the right side that basically is going up and down on in, in that valve area. Yeah. Um, so today, cardiologists, the cardiologists came in and said that um, in 10 days, that clot has mm -hmm. reduced to being less than a fifth, about a fifth of what it was which is huge because usually that takes about two to three months. Right. Um, the cardiologist's exact words were she had never seen something that dramatic happen that fast, right. which is a major praise. So, uh, yeah, go Jesus. Yeah, um, the Lord has answered in um, miraculous ways. So many prayers. We've been um, hoping and praying for that. Yeah, so thank you guys for, for praying for us and for supporting us. We also wanted to talk a little bit about... Um, just what we believe um, regarding grief and suffering yeah. um, and just, um, yeah. Yeah, so with, uh, like with everything that we've experienced with Sophia, um, one of the things that we had to learn early, early on last year um, was that our priorities and our goals needed to shift. Um, Maybe true. For, for those of you who don't know us, uh, we're Christians. We believe that God's word is authoritative and it is his written revelation of who he is and what he has done. And we see the truths of, of scripture in our lives evident. Um, and so that, that's just to kind of give a little basis, a foundation of what we believe. But uh, what we had to really wrestle with and reprioritize last year was that our goal for Sophia was not that she would be healthy or come home even last year. And we do want to say that we want her to be yes. healthy. And last year and even now, we want her to come home. Yes. But that can't be our number one priority. Our hope is not in Sophia. Right. Our hope is in Jesus. Yes. Um, and, that's, and that's where the change is, is that... So scripture says that we were made by him, for him... And through from him, from him, through, through him, him, and, and to him. him. It's the sovereignty triangle. Yes, in Romans eleven thirty six, and so like for Sophia, our 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 desire is that she comes home. Our desire is that she's healthy, but our goal is that somehow through these really intense, really difficult things that she's going through, that we're going through, that other uh, friends and family who know us and know her are impacted by that somehow God uses those things to glorify himself and to make his name known. Um, one of the things that we see like within uh, the Old Testament before the, te the, the plagues that God puts on Egypt, he tells Moses that he's going to do these things 
in order to show his power, to show mm -hmm. his mighty hand. And with Sophia, there's a lot of opportunities for God to show his mighty hand. Yeah. And not just in miraculous ways of healing, but also in the ways that we as a family and we as followers of Christ uh, walk through these things. Yeah, we also see it in John chapter 9 um, when Jesus heals a blind man, mm. I believe. And the disciples say, yeah. like, who sinned, this man or his parents? And, and Jesus says, it's not that they sinned, it's for my glory to be revealed. Mm. And so... Um, we wrestled with the fact that, you know, maybe this is a consequence of sin. And we just believe that God um, is not punishing us by giving us um, this life with with medical complexity. Mm. Um, we just really believe that he's using it for his glory and giving us opportunities to share the gospel. And, and that's really why we started this YouTube channel. Right. Um, it's why I share my writing. It's why we have an Instagram and a Facebook and, and different um, ways to invite you guys to be a part of what God is doing. Um, right. We love that you guys want to pray for us and that you've encouraged us and given to us. We are so overwhelmed yes, so um, by God's provision through you. Um, but really our purpose and our goal is to encourage you mm -hmm. as you um, watch us live out this yeah. life um, for the glory of Jesus. And one of the things that we constantly remind ourselves is that so we are created for the purpose of glorifying God. And for us, the hope that we have in Christ is that promise that we're given at the end of Scripture and Revelation that Jesus says that one day he will come and make all things new. And with Sophia, like there's, there's a lot that he, he will make new. And we have hope and assurance of that. And sometimes we can forget that... Um, to, to use a, a song lyric, death is the doorway to life. Mm. And that for Sophia, if she remains here, like, praise God. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And, and to, we, we win, like, because she's still with us. But if she, if God takes her home, like, she we wins. Also win. <laughs> yeah. Because she's going to, because of what we see of who God is, we can trust and have assurance that she would be in the presence of Jesus. And so. That's what we're living for. Yes. That's the purpose of our life. Our eternal hope yes. is in Jesus Christ alone, not in Sophia, not in her health, not in her... Well-being. Um, yeah, it's it's in Jesus alone through what he's done, um, through his life, his death, and his resurrection. And we also want to uh, acknowledge and recognize that that does not negate the intensity of or emotions. of our emotions, of what we're experiencing... <laughs> Of what we're going through like there I cry a lot we yes we we definitely shed a lot of tears there's a lot of moments of feeling as though the oxygen has been sucked out of the, our lungs um, but in those moments like we have to constantly remind ourselves and we also want to encourage you guys that in those moments that the Lord is our refuge and he is mm -hmm. our strength when one of the most commonly misquoted passages of scripture Philippians <laughs> Uh, 416 13. 413 mm -hmm. okay I can't even know the reference it's, that whole passage but, is good yeah whole, but when it says good. that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me it's not talking about like physical achievements or accomplishments it's, it's not talking, a football game no it's not getting out of the hospital it's talking about the way that we are walking through our hardships and walking through our trials and James says, consider it pure joy when you face trials of every kind mm -hmm. because they're producing something. What they're producing is a characteristic that looks more like Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so um, we just want to encourage you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions about um, specifics about Sophia's conditions um, or specifics about like what we believe, um, we would love to in interact and engage with those um, and we'll keep you guys updated as of right now uh hospital stay uh we're we have no idea yeah. when we're going home we, we initially <laughs> thought that we would be here until the end of march um but as of right now it, it seems like a lot of that can change <laughs> yeah no idea what's happening so, yeah. um but as always make sure you comment subscribe yep. uh, if you Hit. feel led we have our paypal yep. follow all our other stuff 
Facebook, yeah. Instagram, my blog. Um, and also hit the notification bell uh, in order to get notified when we do other videos like this. That's what you do when you stuff. subscribe. Oh, is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, she knows more <laughs> about it than I do. But uh, we love you guys. We thank you so much for your prayers and all the ways that you guys support us. Yeah, so, thank you. God bless.